Hi guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this exercise, so we uh, used the pattern-based family to create a pattern. So create a pattern and then apply to this um, mass um, mass and uh, mass with pattern ba uh, sorry divided surface. So today we're going to instead of line. So these are just line, and when if we um, if we put this in into a project and when we render or yeah, you won't see anything because they are just lines. So what I'm going to t do today is I'll just add some um, uh, solid and some geometry adds, uh, to to this. So what we first what we need to do is just select that this pattern based family. So then so you can see this is the one we did last time so what we need is we just need to um okay so what i'm going to do uh oh uh, and also i will upload this family um so you can just have a play so what we need to do is so there there are two different lines so you can see the purple one purples are the purple lines are reference lines, so with this one checked, and also they are not they are usually not visible in here. Okay, so you won't see them. And also the black lines, they are they are model lines, so you can see the reference line not checked. It's if it's not checked, they usually they will be visible and uh, they are black color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select everything here and then. Um, I wanted to hide all the reference lines, so um, just let me uncheck the everything else except the reference line and type HH just temporarily, temporarily <laughs> hide all the reference lines so I know where uh, the model lines are. So now we have all these model lines. What we need to do is we just need to um, so you have two options or at least two options so one is you can directly place uh, models here okay you can directly so for example you have this model line you can use this as a a, a, a path and then you can just place so for example you can place a point to use draw on face onto this model line you can just use create a profile use draw on word plan onto this point and then you can use them both of them you can just create so but before that usually you check this to make this model line into a reference line and then select both of them you can just create a form okay so this is one option and so this this uh, usually this can take some time and also if you want to make it par or fully parametric um, you will need to so add dimensions add parameters for each um, part which means this might take a little bit longer so what i'm going to do is uh, let me just change this back to to okay so previous original let me just check uncheck this one click ok all good oh, maybe just get rid of this point as well okay so another option is so um you can create an adaptive family so you can quickly place onto these lines okay so let's um uh, let me think which one do i use so i think i will use the adaptive family method but before that i want to go back here so and you can see so these model lines, if they, so m all of them are actually uh, created by connecting two points, so they are always uh, straight. Even in this, you can see the, in this um, mass, is the shape of this mass is a kind of organic curved, right? And then if you look at these lines, they are always. Uh, straight lines so which means if we want to create that adaptive family we just need to have two points one two with a you know a, a form or a geometry between them okay so now let's go 
to create that family. So new family and the genomic model adaptive. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, in this, just need two points. Make them adaptive. Create a spline through between them. Make it reference line. Once again, pay, place a point. Okay, one point. Use draw on face. Place on to it. Create a um, profile. So now, depending on um, what profile you you want, so you can create different shape. Um, I think. Let me think which which profile. So the e, usually I, I just use circle because it's it's a, it's e, it's very easy for me to control. So I just uh, place it here and add a radius parameter. But you can also use different uh, profile. So for this one, I'm going to use rectangular shape. Okay. So and also I will try to add a parameter so we can control it in that uh, mass. So now. Uh, Set draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick this work plan and place it roughly here. So now we need to make them reference line. And then the tricky part is how you're gonna um, add the dimensions and parameters and then make it work. So um, sometimes you can just add dimension to it, but I found it's easier. To just you can see if we tab select one of them, it should show this temporary dimension. So you and you click on that, this will directly create this. And then this is not enough, right? So if because um you still need to you need to con um constrain this to constrain this um, profile to so it center to centered uh to this point. So let's try, I'll see if I can just add edit. Witness line, pick this point, click on OK, click on EQ. OK, so it looks like this <laughs> it doesn't work this way. That's fine. So I find um, you can always do this. OK, so you can always do this and create this one. And then do this one and create another one. So we have two dimensions here. And what we need to do is just create one parameter. So I'll just call it. Um, so this is half of the width, half of the width. And I'll use um, type, type of the file, yeah, type, and then apply it to this one. So now they will be equal, okay, equal. And then if you change this one, you will see also change that one. So this, so exactly what we need, equal, and also dimension. So in yeah, so at the same time, so yeah, all good. And then if we, uh, for example, if you want to have different uh, different height, so you can create another different parameter. But for this, maybe I'll just use uh, I'll just make this a square. So which means uh, I just only need to um, create the dimensions and apply that uh, parameter to it. Okay, so then select these two and apply that uh, HW, and that's all. So if I select one, you can see it will change this, the size of this. And now we can select everything, including the point, the reference line, and the, the parameters, the dimensions. CC, copy it, and select the point. So, so you can move it to anywhere you like. Just use pick new host, place it onto the reference, reference line. Now we can just, because, um, because this is, I know this will always be a, a, a extrusion, so a, a straight straight line profile. So, uh, sorry, path. So you can either so one option is you can select these two. That's enough. So create a form. Okay. So you can also select this one, but, but that um, usually you can also select the path as well. But it usually uh, we use that for like curved path okay but for this one you can just select two profiles that's enough and then we can just select the point you can either drag this to this end point or just type in a number so zero and one and this is it and also 
if you wanted to, you can add material parameter. So just uh, for example, I'll just <laughs> um, okay material and then okay and okay. So now you can control the material as well. So now we can load this into here. So um, as you um, you can see, I usually I just leave the file name as it is but sometimes when you have you know uh, same file name it can be some it can be an issue so 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 I recommend just rename it just save as save as and rename it and then load into here okay, just make sure there's no um, uh, there's no names of family like um, because if you already have a family, so for example, uh, currently there's no family, other family here. If if you have another family here, family one, even they are different, totally different. When you load this family one into that, then then you will have some issue. Okay, so let's load this one into because I'm not sh I'm sure there's no issue. There's no uh, families with same name, so that's all good. And now we can just place this, okay? But but before I place, let me. Uh, I'll just cancel it. I'll just place it here. Cancel it. Um, I want to ch turn change them these lines or into reference line because uh, if I do not do that, they are in they are, they will be visible. Okay, so we will see these lines. So um, yeah, I'll change them to into reference line, and also the reason why I hide all the other reference lines uh, is trying to avoid um, just the doubling up. So I I do I only place this family onto these reference lines. Okay, so now do it again. CS ah uh, CS doesn't work here. Sorry. <laughs> You can create. You can create similar here. So I just uh, need to go back to create and component. So for this, usually I do is SE type SE to snap onto the endpoint. So it's easier to just directly go there because this this mail will make sure because sometimes it might be different if you snap onto the endpoint of this point. Oh sorry, of this line, then onto the endpoint of this line. So if I'm going to place this uh, family onto this reference line, I want to make sure I snap the endpoint of this line. So SE top SE move onto here, and SE again. You don't need to even move the cursor; just tab. Okay, so just tab. It will switch onto the other end of this uh, line. Okay, so now once again SE SE tab SE. SE tab, SE, SE tab, SE, SE tab, SE. So you can see it's very easy to, and you won't. Uh, if you do it this way, you always place onto exactly uh, where you want, so you won't make mis mistakes. Okay, and this is it. So now let's have a test. So before we load this into here, so if I change the size, oh yeah, uh, we still need to. Okay, so we need to select everything here because uh, we have that parameter here. So we need link. Oh, we don't need to because these are um, these parameters. The they are shared parameter. So we don't, yeah, we don't need to. That's that's okay, uh, okay for this one. So let's. I think that's all good. Uh, but how can we try? How can we test? Uh, maybe we do this. Just select one and go edit. So let me try. I'll just make it fifty. So this will change all. Yeah, all good. And then material. I just pick. Uh, I'll just create a new. Uh, just make a make. Make it uh, red, for example. It should become all red. Uh, uh, SD, sorry, shade instead of hidden line. 
Okay, so now I think it should be okay. Load this back into that mass family overwrite. And yeah, this might take a little bit longer than just as long as. Yeah, I think I need to up upgrade my computer. <laughs> it's a bit slow. Okay, you know, um, I might just let me just pause so I'll save you some time. Okay, so okay, uh, after a couple minutes. It's all finished. It's all done. That's it. So now you can see it instead of lines, they are actual uh, frames. So, and also if you want to um, change the material or change the, uh, you can tab because both this pattern and each individual frame, they are all shared. Um, share the family so you can use tab to select them so for example you can tab so if you do not use tab you select the whole thing uh, the, the divide a surface but if you use the tab you can then uh, note that's a still the surface tab again so you can see you can pick this one and you can also pick the divided surface oh sorry <laughs> you can also pick, uh, pick the based family so this is a base family if you want to change the pattern you you can edit this family and if you want to edit in individual um, frame you can tab select it and also because um because they're shared family so you can just go edit the top if you want to change any like the materials and also the size of the frame you can directly do it here okay so and this is it um and uh, yeah I will upload um which one do you want maybe I'll upload the this one so yeah you can just have, have a play and uh, um maybe I'll include so maybe I'll have this one the original one and also include include this uh, pattern based family with all these frames as well you can you can just uh, have a play and that's it for today um if you have any questions please let me know i will see you next time thank you bye